Uh, hello. Uh, what is up, YouTube? Uh, Steve here again for video 22. And <laughs> you haven't seen him in a while, probably not since the eighth video. But I wanted to bring a special guest with me today again. Say hello, Valentino. Say hello to them. They're not going to hurt you. It's okay, baby. Huh? Okay. Well, you'll say hi to them later. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I'm here with Valentino. He just got groomed, uh, by the way. So that's why he looks so handsome. Say hi, Valentino. Please. Please. Say hello. Say something. All right. Well, he's on his best behavior right now. But... Really what I want to tell you today, there's a reason why he's with me. Uh, there's a reason why I'm, I'm doing this video, of course. Uh, I wanted to do a video on something that I think affects everybody. Um, and I want to do this particular video because it's something that I've wanted to do for a while. Um, it's going to be on a more universal topic. Um, still very emotional uh, topic, but... I want to do I want to do a video on something that I think affects everybody to some extent. Um, even Valentino here, even me, of course, um, because I think that's why these videos have, you know, the success that they have sometimes. Because I do talk about things that I think affect people in one way or another, and it resonates with them. You know, and I think that's why it sometimes, maybe not all the time, but I think that's why even initially, at the fir very first video, it was so accessible to people who know me pe and people who don't know me. So, that so that being said, I'm, I, it's already been two minutes. Topic of today's video, fear. Uh, and I've talked a little bit about fear. I've talked more sp about specific fears in previous videos, but... I want to talk about fear in general today. And again, I think it's something that affects everybody. I, I know I've had many issues with fear in the past. And believe it or not, as much as people tell me all the time, oh, you know, you're so brave for doing this series, or you're so brave for doing these videos, you're so brave for, for, for what you do, and you have a lot of courage, you have a lot of, you know. I, I'm, as much as I appreciate those comments and those compliments, I appreciate everything that you people who know me and don't know me alike have said. I, I really do appreciate it, and I thank you so much for that, because that was critical in me bettering myself, and me feeling a lot better about myself in general. But the fact of the matter is that nine times out of ten, I, I really, this is, this is real, okay? Nine times out of ten, fear does overwhelm me. And I do, you know, make mistakes, I do, Fear does stop me from doing a lot of things in my life. It, you know, it always has. Right, baby? Right, Valentino? You know, then there's a reason why Valentino's here with me. I do want to tell you a story. Um, I could tell you a lot of stories, but I think we really only have time for one. Because uh, I want to keep this very short. I, I feel very bad about the last video being like 16 minutes. You know, that, 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 that's a bit long. Uh, I, especially since I want to keep these under 10. But... But really what I want to tell you is that, you know, fear is very powerful. Um, very, very powerful. You know, it stopped it stopped me from doing certain things in my life. Um, you know, uh, this is painful for me to admit, but why do you think I'm single? Okay. Think about this, okay. Why do you think I never had a dog until now? Which I'm going to get into in, a, in about a minute. And, you know, why do you think... You know, I mean, why do you think I, um, why do you think it took me so long to do this series? You know, these are things I tend to procrastinate. Th there's more I could, you know, think of, but, but I'm, I'm just trying to get you to think for a second here. You know, th these are things I tend to procrastinate because I'm scared. I get scared a lot. And... You know, and, but if there's anything I've learned, I do want to give you some advice, and then I'll tell you a little story. But if the advice that I want to give you, I know, baby, it will all be over soon. But <laughs> he's like, he, he's like in a, he's kind of like sleeping right now. But, but if there's anything I want to tell you today, it's that bravery does get rewarded. Seriously, uh, bravery gets rewarded, like. 
It was nine times out of ten that I that fear dictates what I do. You know, those nine times my bravery probably would get rewarded because that one time out of ten that I started doing the series and I had the courage and I gained the <laughs> the balls to do this. <laughs> you know, that one time my bravery was rewarded very greatly. Okay, it was. I didn't think it would be. I thought people would think this is stupid. I thought people would think I shouldn't be talking about this. I thought all these things. And I thought I would be a fool for coming out about my problems and for saying the things that I say, but nothing is further than the truth. You know, nothing was further than the truth. Not one person to this day has, has said anything negative on my videos. You know, maybe there's some constructive criticism sometimes from people who know me. But I still haven't gotten... I don't want to jinx anything, so I'm, I'm going to try to just shut up for a second. But but that's really what I'm trying to tell you today. That, you know, your bravery will be rewarded. And what I want to tell you really is that you can't let fear overwhelm you. Okay? You know, maybe, and maybe regardless of whether or not you have a mental illness... Don't let fear dictate what you do in your life, because your bravery will be rewarded, and it, sometimes it's, it's a mistake to back out because you don't you don't know what to expect or you don't know what the outcome will be. You know, if I let fear continue to, to tell me don't do this series, people are going to watch this and they're going to think you're you know you're crazy for doing this. You know, I I would still be very depressed. I wouldn't be happier right now, even even though there's some pretty bad shit going on in my life. Like my, I don't want, I don't know if I should talk about this too much because it's not me who's going through this, but someone very important to me right now has cancer. So I don't want to go into it too much, but because it's it's not, I'm not the one going through it. But maybe it's not appropriate. You know what I mean? But. I just want you to know that, I just want you to know that, you know, I would still be in a very bad place. But now I can see things more positively. Now I could be in a much better place mentally because I have the courage to speak out, speak up about my problems and I had the courage to, to do all that and it was rewarded. People told me how, I, I, I felt like I belonged on this earth too, for once, and for the first time in like nine years, you know, and that was really amazing for me, you know, so, and that really goes for anything too, like, if you're struggling to maybe get the courage to talk to that boy or that girl you like or whatever, well, I'm not the master, I'm not the fucking master at all when it comes to stuff like this, I'm really not, believe me. But try something. Do something, okay? Just do something. Just try. Yeah. Your bravery won't always be rewarded in that department. I know that much. But at least do something. At least try. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Worst case scenario, at least you make a friend. I mean, it's not really so bad. So, so the last thing I want to tell you, especially about Valentino, because. For as long as I can remember, I was always afraid of getting a dog. Ever since I was a kid. And I'm not saying that's why we never had a dog. There were other reasons my father and I were always allergic to dogs. And, you know, but then... A few people that we know started getting Maltesers. And, yes, and that's what this guy right here, right here is. He's a Maltese. Very, 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 very affectionate little guy. And... You know, and we, you know, I was always afraid of dogs, you know, even little guys too. But as, as, once I started spending time with some of these Maltesers, I felt less and less scared. And then my, and we saw that they were hypoallergenic, so you, you know, so there was that too. When, when my mom started thinking about it, this was, it was really my mom's idea to get a dog. And we got one. Eventually, you know, after some months of consideration, we, we got a dog, and I was hesitant. I was very hesitant. I didn't, 
I always I thought I was gonna be afraid of him and that we wouldn't get along and he would just be there, but but I overcame that fear because I when I met Valentino here, you know, he he changed all that for me. He it would have been a mistake not to get him. To continue to kind of just be the 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 odd man out and say we shouldn't have a dog. You know, you know, a that wouldn't have done anything, okay? Because well, I'm an only child, and my both of my parents, my 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 mom and my dad wanted to get a dog, especially my mom. So, um, but we got him, and I love him so much. I love him more than anything in this world. He's my best friend. You know, he he was instrumental in making me feel a lot better about myself, making me feel loved. He was very instrumental in that, and I'm grateful every day that I get to see him, right? So, what I want to tell you today is that don't let fear overwhelm you. Don't make mistakes. You know, because the, the, the things that you're afraid of may end up being the best things you've ever done. This has been one of the best things I've ever done this series. Again, this dog has been one of the best things I ever did. So, yeah, that's that's really all I could tell you today. So, you know, so yeah, don't let fear overwhelm you. Okay, try to remember your bravery will be rewarded. You know, in whatever way, you know it it can be. Okay, all right. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Okay, I right. I hope everything will turn out all right. Okay, you want to say goodbye to them, Valentino? Want to say goodbye to the people watching? Say goodbye. Wave goodbye. Wave goodbye. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll I'll see you all later. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye bye.